Welcome back. This is Rito with another Anna the Archer Calamity Revengeance Mode Let's Play. Between last episode and this one, we cleared out our little makeshift base right here. And as I discussed, I brought in using T-Edit this base that I had built in a previous playthrough. And I put a lot of time into this and it's one of my favorite builds I've ever done. So I decided we'd use it here. And so what I've done to make it kind of fair is to remove all of the um, items and basically the only items that we've got in these storage chests are ones that I acquired in the first episode and so it's just just those items you can see nothing nothing else in here we've got a bunch of NPCs who've moved in uh, we've got the merchant up there the nurse and a few new ones that you'll not recognize if you haven't played the calamity mod here's Mark um, he's sells just bricks and furniture, different things like that. You can change his um, shop, so you can buy basic furniture from him, which is pretty cool. This is the base we'll be using, and let's go ahead and start getting some crafting done so we can head out and explore the underground desert. I want to craft a loom, so what we'll need is a chain. So now we've got a chain. We can craft a sawmill. Put that right here and hopefully that's enough yep we'll have a loom and we can put the loom over here so now we can craft silk and white string so i want to craft one or two of these just to see if we can get a good this is an accessory and you can get a good modifier on it there we go a guarding white string that's much better see we get the plus two defense and I think calamity adds plus 0.5 percent damage reduction so that's nice as well and toss the rest of these on all of my playthroughs I always have two rows of chests like this and I have just kind of a system that I've memorized over the years like this first one I always have all of my boss summons and different items like glow sticks and dynamite that I like to pick up or a hammer just kind of quick accessible things in the first chest and then I have potions in the next one potion uh, kind of natural ingredients like acorn seeds all that sort of stuff and then I have enemy drops like lenses or leather and then usually I have a chest for blocks or furniture and then on the bottom it's usually just weapons armor accessories and then uh, wiring and lastly just kind of a miscellaneous thing i usually try to keep my inventory and treasure pretty minimal so i don't just collect everything i like to try to sell a lot of stuff oh, over here is kind of my piggy bank where i keep uh gold and everything so I'll turn the silver into gold there but yeah basically i keep that and i'll probably put my bed over here or something like that and then over by the crafting i like to keep all of my ores so next let's craft the Wolfram armor, we have already have uh, the headgear. Okay, so let's equip the chest piece and the legs. In Calamity, you can actually craft an aglet out of uh, five iron or five lead. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft one of those because we have not found one yet. Now that we got our crafting taken care of, I wanted to talk really quickly about this mount we got last episode. It is the Onyx Excavator. When I first got it, I didn't know if it was actually something that was Calamity or if it was a different mod like Louis AFK. So I researched it and found out that it is Calamity, so we're good to use it. And so I wanted to show you how cool this item is. You just hold down and it can really quickly dig through areas in a straight line, which is really nice. So that'll help out our mining speed early on. One kind of limitation of it is that it can't dig up or down. So we just have to dig left to right, but it's still pretty cool, so we'll be using that. Also, I activated the Weapons Out mod, so it shows the bow now. Just kind of a cool look. I've noticed that the Wolfram bow doesn't arc nearly as much as the Platinum one, and it has auto fire. So I think I'm going to stick with this bow for a while. Okay, I think we found the desert finally. And yes, we have. Perfect. Let's get some cactus. Ooh, my range proficiency leveled up again. In the first episode, I noticed that range proficiency, and I didn't know what mod it was from because last time I played Calamity, they didn't have any sort of proficiencies. And I was familiar with, there was another mod that added those sort of things, and I didn't, I knew I didn't have that installed. So um, it actually is something new to Calamity, or at least new to me. And pretty cool. It slowly increases the damage and 
the attack speed and different things like that. So if you stick with the same class, just killing enemies will level up your efficiency. It's kind of like an RPG element. With these cactus, I just mine the bottom block instead of using an axe on them, and it takes them down much quicker. So I just use the pickaxe on the sand right below it. So there's usually just a big cavern in the middle of the desert where you can go down and start exploring. And I haven't found that yet. We did find, however, the dungeon, which is right here. So we can go ahead and collect a few pots real quick. So let's finish exploring to this side of the map and then we'll port to spawn and check out the other side and see if we find one over there. The reason I'm looking for a desert is because that's where you fight the first Calamity boss. It's called the Desert Scourge. And it's like a, a worm that spawns other smaller worms all around it. It's a really cool boss and it gives some very good item drops. I think this is the Sulfur Sea or the Abyss. And it's got a big alligator. So I think that's as far as we're gonna go on this side of the world. So let's head back to the spawn those enemies will kill me really fast. I'm gonna drop off my gear real quick and then we will head and explore and see if we can find that desert. One thing I like to do is use my grappling hook to propel myself along the world because if you don't have the sprint boots you can actually move much quicker if you just grapple. Oh you can actually cut down trees with it. Oh and it even hurts enemies. <laughs> No, it doesn't, do, doesn't do very much damage, but that's cool. It can cut down trees. Just to make it a little easier to travel, I think I'm going to just dig right through this mountain. That is so cool. <laughs> and we'll come out right over here. Kill this guy. So with the jungle spawn rate at night, this is going to be a bit treacherous. We're going to need to throw down some platforms so we can get across without having the piranhas hit us. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the shine potion as well. I've been saving that, but this is a good place to have some extra light. Perfect, here's the entrance for the jungle a little, for a little bit later. So if any of you watch other videos on my channel, you'll notice between the last few videos I've been posting some Calamity weapon showcases, which is, I've just noticed that some of the Calamity endgame items, because they're not, you know, like the normal vanilla items, there aren't as much resources about them, and so I remember my first time through Calamity, I wanted to get an idea of how to craft certain items or just get a feel for what they do, how good they are, and all that, and there really weren't a lot of good resources for it. So I've been putting together some videos showing all the different types of weapons you can get in the end game. So if you're interested, you can check those out as well. Okay, I think we've gotten through the jungle. This is like a really cool world so far. If only we could find <laughs> that desert entrance. Awesome, okay, so here's the entrance. Here we go. First treasure chest. And it's got a whole lot of nothing. Oh well. Okay, so that noise means we've found the boss. Let's hopefully throw down some torches. Oh no. So this boss you do not want to get pinned down. Oh no. I'm gonna run. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit cheese in it, but... I need to get some distance between me and this boss. And if I find that darn drill, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna get that clutch move. Okay, so I'm 26 seconds off a of heal. So I just need to survive long enough. Ah! Okay, this is getting a little bit stressful. Gotta get this guy, 13 seconds. No! 98 health. Oh well, we'll go back here. We were just going towards the desert to go build our house, and look what we find. 
seriously one of these small bosses spawned on top of the desert? That's crazy. Okay, well this actually gives us a good chance to hopefully be able to kill him because we've got some extra space. If only I had a double jump because this is unfortunately not really too easy to dodge without a double jump. No, there's like no way to dodge him. Oh, good. Okay, that was just like straight tanking him. Sweet. Well, that's good. That was a pretty sloppy fight. It's very hard to do anything with. I mean, we've got a a hook, but you can't really dodge upward without being able to double jump. This is why I was saying I I really need to get one of those clouds in a bottle before I'm able to fight any bosses. Oh wow, I'm really low on health. Okay, I need to. I need to pay attention here. Okay, so with some cactus, let's build a cactus house right here. Put a bed down and a torch and spawn point set. Perfect. I feel much safer now. This is a good chance to look over some of the things we got from that boss. Surprisingly, we get coral, starfish, and seashells. And then we get something called a victory shard, which is used to craft this victide bar, which is a crafting material for a really good armor tier set for the early game. It's time to head back in and this time we will find some good treasure. We found our next house over here and it's got a gold chest and an extraction area. Perfect. Take that. Let's see if he's gonna port through this wall. I think he can, but just in case he can't, we'll just throw some bombs on him. Yes, he can. Okay, so this is a decent position to be in. If I can dodge him a little bit. I just need a way to get above him when he lands on me. Uh oh. That's not good. No, I'm stuck. Okay, yeah, I'm a little bit underpowered to be fighting this guy. Luckily, we've got a spawn point right here, so we can jump right back in. And another treasure chest. Let's get some good luck here. A flare gun. Actually, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with a flare gun. Those are nice. Not as nice as a double jump, <laughs> but we can actually build a double jump. If we go high enough into the sky to kill harpies and get feathers, the Calamity mod allows us to build the cloud in a bottle or blizzard in a bottle. But we did find some more bombs from that treasure chest, so we'll just continue going down. These guys are what drop the summoning item, or the, at least the crafting material for the summoning item for the desert scourge. So let's kill him and see if he drops it. Yes, right there. It's the Stormyland Mandible, which can craft this right here, the Desert Medallion. Sweet. Oh my goodness. No, I can't die here. There's a heart. There's so many mobs. What is with the spawn rate in this, de this desert? It's crazy high spawn rate. Yeah, that's a wipe. Okay. Whoa, what is that that just dropped? It's a mandible bow? I have never seen that. Let's see if that's an upgrade. Hopefully it is. Mandible bow. 13 ranged attack. It doesn't auto shoot and it's, it's pretty much the same as platinum bow, so I don't think I'm gonna use it too much, but it's kind of a cool item. I like the way it looks. Ah, there we go. Just figured out the controls for Vein Miner. Gotta map it to the right things. So you see it just totally destroys all of the ore there. Makes it a little bit faster. Looks like we have another golden chest right above us as well. Yes, we got the Hermes boots. This is great. Now we got that guy down. 
we can check out what's in this golden chest. Yes, we have an armored cloud in a bottle. Perfect. That is so much better. Okay, let's switch out the aglet. We don't need that. And loot all that. I think we also got a gravitation potion. Oh, that's even better. Now we can go into the sky and explore some of the sky zones. Ooh, another golden chest. Nice. Two worms? Really? Okay. At least we have some room to dodge them. Or try to dodge them. Three worms. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, this is when it's good to have some auto pause on. Because I want to see what's in this before they have a chance to mess with me anymore. Got two down, only one more left. Wow, there's so many mobs in here. I think Revengeance really increases the spawn rate of enemies. And we're back to the heart. Perfect. Let's pick this up. And that might be a good place to end the episode. Let's head to the surface, sort through what we've got down here. We've got our cloud in the bottle and Hermes boots. Plus we've got some gravitation potions. Next episode, I'm thinking of exploring the sky, maybe finding a few accessories up there. There's also planetoids that are added in the Calamity mod. If you want to check out the next video where we're gonna finally fight our first boss, then go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it as that helps me out a lot. And I will catch you next time.